we are going to talk about the design sequence. Usually, someone comes in with a desire to have some product, some kind of product, and that is described in some initial specification of the object, the product that someone wants to have. It is called an object performance specification, but often it is not at all complete. And the first thing we do when we receive a, such a specification is to study it, make an interpretation and see what do we have to do? What are the design objectives and are the specifications complete and um, not contradictory, for example. And then the next step is, and this is very essential, this is how we usually solve co complex problems, we are going to cut it in pieces. We are going to make a functional decomposition. We are asking ourselves in the first step, what do we have to make? What function do we, uh, does the product needs to, need to do? And then we are going to decompose this function in smaller pieces that we can easily understand. And this is called a functional decomposition. So for all these functions, we need at the end physical solutions and putting them together would give us the product we want to have. So um, we need to generate physical solutions that embody, that can perform such functions and that are physical design proposals. We would like to have more than one, of course, because if we have only one uh, for each function, so for each function, you would like to have alternatives. If you have only one, you, there's no way back if it fails. So you want to have alternatives. And how are we going to select which of the compositions is the best possible? Well, during the interpretation phase, we already generated what is called engineering characteristics from the object performance specification. An engineering characteristic is something you can measure. So if the object performance specification says the signal to noise ratio should be good, um, then the engineering characteristic says it should be so and so much dB, for example. And the bandwidth should be so large. Really numbers that you can test with test equipment. And also during the generation of physical solutions, maybe because that turns out to be important for the physical solution, other engineering characteristic comes up. And then we are going to analyze all the functions that we did and the, decom and the decompositions we made with these engineering characteristics. We are going to compare them and we end up with, let's say, a best possible solution, a a less possible, uh, 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 let's say, a uh, best a worst case and something in between. And then we are going to select, of course, probably the best possible. We are going to document it. And we have basically then an object performance specification for the next decomposition phase. So you start with, I want to have an airplane. Uh, you decompose it in, uh, in a wings, in a fuselage, in, uh, in wheels, in lightning. And then you start in the next phase with designing the fuselage or designing the wings or the engines or the lightning. But the principle, that we do here is always the same. So basically there's a loop, but this loop goes down to a next hierarchical level. That is the way that we are solving problems as engineers.